Hey, 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 it's Thursday. Welcome to the FHS Music. Hey, Alex Hokinson. Kira Bullock. Lexi Hare. Jenna Wise. Lisa Quinn. Sydney Stivers. Cheyenne Sheeler. Taylor Jensen. Jacob Godby. Place. That's right, it's Spirit Week, and the students here take full advantage of it to show their true colors. But first, what is homecoming? Taylor Jensen and Jenna Wise prowled the school, hunting down the answers to this very question. They decided to ask teachers about why we celebrate homecoming. Hey Fergus, this is Taylor Jensen. I'm here with Mrs. Armstead. Mrs. Armstead, what do you think the purpose of homecoming is? Well, I think traditionally the purpose of homecoming is to bring um, alumni from schools back to their hometown to watch their teams play and to be reacquainted with all the people from their hometown. I think it started quite a while ago in, as I remember, some town in the Midwest in a college town and um, it's a very traditional American thing. I don't think it exists anywhere else in the world and just fun for everybody. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I think one of the main purposes, a lot of kids that have graduated before will come back to watch their alma mater play the homecoming football game a lot of times. I know it's more than just football. There's volleyball and stuff that goes on, cross country and golf. And a lot of times kids will like to come back to just see how their younger kids that they played with or whatever the last few years, see how they knew their homecoming game. Hi Fergus, hi, I'm Jenna Wise. I'm here with Mr. Herdahl. We're here to talk to him about the upcoming homecoming. Okay, Mr. Dripdahl, my question for you today is, what do you think the purpose of homecoming is, in your opinion? Homecoming is traditionally the first home game after the first away game. And so that gives a chance for our students at Fergus High to show their school spirit, and come out and support their team, whether it's the girls' volleyball team or the boys' football team. Awesome. Or track or anybody else that's <laughs> yeah. golf, anyone else that's competing right now. Awesome. All right, thanks, Mr. Dripdahl. Even though it may not seem like it now, some memorable things have happened here at Fergus High. We thought we'd ask students to reminisce on past years of craziest events. Hi, we're here with Dakota Maddox today. Dakota, can you tell us your most memorable part of homecoming week in the, your past four mm. years? The most memorable thing, I would say, would be dressing up. As can what? You? Well, fancy, like classy. Like tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And can you think of a really memorable moment that happened in the pep assembly? Pep assembly. Memorable moment. Laughing at the fools doing the games. What Which games? Game? Be really specific. I think it was the noodle one last year. Mm. And they all jumped in there. Okay. I think. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your opinion. Hey, FHS. We're here with Brady Benson, a senior here at Fergus. And Brady, what is one of your most memorable times at a pep assembly? What's your favorite game? Uh, my One of my favorite games was when we were licking the peanut butter off of the two glass, off the <laughs> sides of the glass. That was pretty fun. I bet. <laughs> Lisa, that's Lissa's favorite too. Lissa's favorite memory. What is one of your favorite days that you've ever had here? Uh, it's always blue and gold day. Really? Okay. Oh, way to go. Love Thanks, the pep assembly. Oh. Hi, Fergus. We're here with Trey Bullock, a junior at, here at Fergus. We're going to get some of his most memorable moments of homecoming week. So, Trey, what's something that's super memorable about your homecoming the last three years? Uh, freshman year at the pep assembly, Austin had to fish Barbie dolls out of a water bin and oh. run it across the gym, and he fell flat on his face. <laughs> I am Scott, and this is Kelsey and Darren, and I was uh, going to ask you, what is your favorite thing about homecoming? Uh, my favorite thing is probably being awesome and uh, dressing up, being crazy. I'd have to say my favorite part is on Friday. We only have like 20 minutes of school, and we get to just hang out for most of the day. We don't do much, really. Okay. And uh, what is the best part about pep assemblies? Pep assembly is probably the band because they are peppy and it's an assembly, so we miss class. I think it's the cheerleaders because they're the best. Hey, for 
Alright guys, we're here with Andrew. Andrew, could you tell us your favorite day out of your last four years here at Fergus? Out of my last four years in Fergus, my favorite day was Superhero Day. Because, <laughs> I mean, they always saving people, like me. <laughs> what about your favorite day out of, um, I don't know, how about your favorite game from the last pep assemblies? I like the one where they were licking the peanut butter off the plastic. <laughs> That was just ridiculous. Really? Yeah. It was nasty, but it was ridiculous. Yeah, too. I agree. Yeah, that's funny. A that's lot funny. of people like that one. I don't Liz, know why. do you like that no, one? I don't yeah. Know. They really got into it. It was intense. Well, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and what was your favorite Pep Assembly game that you've ever seen uh, or the, been involved? The one with the baby food and the one with the guy putting the makeup on the girl. That one was really funny. It does. So, it is funny. That one was probably my favorite. All right, thank you. No problem. God being, I'm here with Brandon and Kylie. What's your guys' favorite part about homecoming? Uh, the football game. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Yeah. All right, what is the most memorable part of any pep assembly that you've been to? Brittany Larson saying Chubby <laughs> Bunny with a whole bunch of marshmallows <laughs> in her mouth. <laughs> I liked when Lisa had to lick the peanut butter. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah. There's still many events taking place. Tomorrow, there's a pep assembly followed by the barbecue. Unfortunately, it is not free this year, so make sure you have money in your lunch account. If not, it is $3.10. Reduced or free lunch students will pay the reduced or free price. Also, bring an extra dollar or two for the Skills USA car bash. After that is the homecoming parade downtown. Later that night, the Fergus Eagles take on the Browning Indians at 7 p.m., so be sure to come show your spirit and listen to the Screaming Eagles pep band halftime show. On Saturday, there's a volleyball game in Hardin, so text your friends and find the results. Later that night is the homecoming dance. It starts at 9 and ends at 12. The cost is $5 for a single and $7 for couples. And that rounds up our homecoming week for 2011. And, and boom goes the dynamite! Go, go for the Eagles! Eagles.